So real quick, just wanted to let you guys know we have a Discord server now where you can come hang out, post your art to get it critiqued by other people, post your art so that I can use it in a video maybe. So if that sounds interesting to you, the link is in the description. Anyway, today we'll be going over the anatomy of the female hips, mostly for anime, but it's general anatomy, so you could use this for any art style. And I already did a video about the female chest, which if you haven't seen it, you can go check it out. But anyway, let's get started. This video will be slightly more complicated than the chest video purely because of how many different muscles and bones there are. So we'll be going over the pelvis, which is this bone right here. Then the femur partially, which is the leg bone. Then right here we have the sartorius, which uh, is a muscle that comes from the pelvis right there. Then the gracilis, which is there. We have the tensor fascia lati, which is over here. And then right behind that, we have the gluteus medius. Those are all the muscles we'll be covering. First, we're going to look at the pelvis. Now the pelvis is probably the hardest thing to draw when it comes to the human body, which is mostly because of how weird this shape is. Thankfully, we don't need to draw a super detailed pelvis. Instead, we can simplify it, but to do that, we need to know what all the important landmarks are. First, we have the anterior superior iliac spine, which are these two bumps on the front. We can also shorten it to asis. This bone is actually right on the surface, so you can feel it on yourself, and on skinny people, you can actually see it on the surface. There's also an anterior inferior iliac spine, which is that, but we don't care about that because you can't see it. Then we have the pubic symphysis, which is this blue cartilage right there. And lastly, we have the iliac crest, which is essentially the edge of the pelvis right there. And the last thing I want to draw attention to is the vertical alignment between the aces and the pubic symphysis, which is there. As you can see, there's a tiny gap between them, but this gap is so small, it's negligible. So for the sake of making the perspective easier, I would suggest pretending like they are vertically aligned. Now that we know this, how do you simplify it? Well, all you really need is just this triangle. In 3D, it would look something like this. We have the aces points up here, then the pubic symphysis down there, and then we just extend everything backward. The iliac crest in reality would be somewhere up there, but again, for simplicity's sake, we just pretend they're on the same level. Now let's start drawing. First, I'm going to decide on the perspective, which I actually didn't mention this, but each part of the pelvis is attached to every other part. So if the pelvis slightly tilts, every single part of the pelvis is going to follow that same tilt. In this case, I want the pelvis to be at a slight angle like that, so we can just draw our triangle, and then that's the first one. Next up, we have the low angle, which means we won't be able to see the top plane at all. I'm still drawing it right now, just to give me an idea of um, what the perspective is going to look like. But for the most part, we'll be able to see the bottom plane. And lastly, we have the high angle. Again, our perspective is going to be going that way. So we first draw that top plane. Then we draw our center line and then place the pelvis like that. And one last thing before we move on to the femur, I want to cover the differences between the male and female pelvis. The female pelvis is a lot wider than the male pelvis, whereas the male pelvis is a lot taller than the female pelvis. That's pretty much the only difference you need to know. The femur is the upper leg bone, and for this video, I'll only cover the upper part of it. The rest of it will be for a leg video. The femur is connected to the pelvis by the head of the femur, which is this, and then the neck of the femur, which is that. It's at an angle of about 120 degrees, give or take. And the really important part of the femur is this thing. This bump is called the greater trochanter, and it's usually the widest point on the hips. Which means when all the fat and muscles are attached, it creates a shape like this. This also happens to line up with the crotch, so that gives you a good landmark. The femur is going to be relatively easy to draw. All we have to do is draw our 120 degree lines like that. We know where the aces point is, so then the greater trochanter is going to be somewhere right around there. And then we place the other one like that. There are a lot of muscles that originate from the hips, and you do need to know these if you want to draw muscular legs. But for now, I'm only going to go over the ones that create the contour of the hips, which means we've got four different muscles. Let's start with the sartorius muscle. The sartorius originates from the aces point of the pelvis, and then it goes down, wraps all the way around, 
and then it attaches down to the tibia, which is the lower leg bone. The cool thing about this muscle is that it actually divides the leg into halves, the upper half and then the lower half. And if you're drawing a character with low body fat, you can actually see the sartorius divide the leg like that. It's kind of hard to place where the sartorius needs to be considering we don't have the lower leg drawn, but all we need to do is start from the aces point and then draw this curved line going down. You can keep things very rough for now seeing as how this is just a sketch and then as soon as we have more information with the other leg muscles, you can make it more detailed. But as long as you start from the aces point, you should be good to go. Up next we have the gluteus medius. This is the uh, muscle we couldn't see before because it's on the side. Here in the back we have the gluteus maximus, which I'll cover in a future video. The gluteus medius originates from the iliac crest, right underneath it actually and then it attaches onto the greater trochanter. There's not much to say about this muscle actually other than it just creates the side contour of the hips. So we go from the iliac crest down to the greater trochanter. We probably can't see it on this side because our iliac crest is uh, back here covered by the front plane of the pelvis and then it would go like that. Then for a high angle view we can see it on this side but then on this side, I'm pretty sure it's going to get covered by the tensor fascia lati. And speaking of the tensor fascia lati, that's the next muscle we're going to be looking at. The tensor fascia lati originates from the iliac crest, right behind the sartorius muscle actually. And it attaches onto this tendon, which is known as the iliotibial tract. It'll become clearer what that actually is during the leg video. So for now, you can just assume that it attaches to the greater trochanter. Like I said, we can assume it attaches to the greater trochanter, so we're going to draw the uh, tensor fascia lati right there. On our low angle, it covers the gluteus medius, and then on the other side... And the last muscle that creates the contour is called the gracilis. This one originates right next to the pubic symphysis, and it attaches onto the tibia as well. It's right behind the sartorius actually, as you can see in this spot, right there they actually meet up. Back to our drawing, we know that the pubic symphysis is supposed to be right there. And seeing as how our simplified pelvis doesn't have the actual point where the uh, gracilis attaches, we just have to use a little bit of imagination. It would be somewhere around there. And then on the other side, we can just draw it like that. For the low angle, it would be there and there and then the high angle we would have it here attaching to the sartorius there and then slightly behind it on the other side right there and that's pretty much it for the hips to uh, finish these drawings we'd have to add some other anatomy that i'll cover in future videos like the gluteus maximus in the back and then we go down to the legs on this side we'd have to draw the leg muscles as well here we'd be able to see the gluteus maximus a little bit in the back there and then on this side it's mostly legs and then on this one again gluteus maximus in the back and then finishing it up with the leg muscles so that's pretty much it for the sketches i'm just quickly going to clean up these drawings and then i'll check back with you guys in a second and here's what we got so uh, once again we have a discord server you can join if you want to get your art critiqued by me or some other people next time i'll most likely be covering the stomach area which means the abs the obliques so uh, stay tuned for that if you're interested if you like this video be sure to leave a comment leave a like subscribe if you're not subbed yet and uh, i guess i will catch you all next time.